I'd like to imagine like Christopher Nolan like on set and he's just like over his brother's shoulder like oh you're gonna do it like that using CG huh yeah that's uh, <laughs> certainly a choice I mean that's one way to do it I mean I'd actually blow up a city but I know. <laughs> Oh, it's time for class. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Today, we're going to be watching the new Fallout trailer for the uh, TV series. I guess TV series. Stre- yeah, it's, streaming series. It's a show coming TV out. Streaming series. Coming out on Prime. Yeah. Oh, it's Prime. Nice. So let's see what the, uh, let's see what the trailer looks like. I know that I've lived a relatively comfortable life. This looks God good. Mercy. It's like Star Trek. Or Stargate, maybe. Jonathan Nolan. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. You need to go Nolan's home. Nolan's brother. <laughs> yeah. All dwellers I can are already tell this is species. Amazon's Mandalorian. I do not think you would be willing to do what it takes to survive up here. If you insist on staying, then you will have to adapt. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Oh. What? <laughs> I don't know what fast, fast delivery is. Tomorrow, so they say. <laughs> hey, it's a dog meat. A lovely day. Ooh, I like that a guy. A bright new sun will suddenly break through. But I don't want to see Red Soul. <laughs> now that's Walton Goggins if I've ever Unless seen that. Yeah, really. I see it with you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is that Chris Parnell? I think it is. Yeah, it was. Sarah Connor's nightmare. Yeah, really. Okay. Wow, that yeah. was that was that, fantastic. That looks pretty good, honestly. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a great trailer, and I I I think what they're trying to go for is like they're trying to get their own Mandalorian. Well, like, the guy that the guy that produced it is from Westworld, and that had it seemed like a very Westworldian vibe. Oh, it really did. Yeah. yeah. I think what I I think what's really interesting about I didn't Fallout know that is, that no uh, this was a Nolan family uh, produced thing. Is is he really? <laughs> yeah, friend? It's, it's Nolan's brother. Oh no shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I thought you were just making a joke. No, it's actually his brother. <laughs> I was gonna say I know I know one of his brothers is like uh, helps him write stuff. Yeah, I that's like pretty, it. that's pretty cool. I didn't I'd, know that. I'd like to imagine like Christopher Nolan like on set and he's just like over his brother's shoulder like oh you're gonna do it like that using CG huh yeah that's uh, <laughs> certainly a choice. I mean that's one way to do it. I mean I'd actually blow up a city. But... I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna pretend to, okay. yeah, yeah. Christopher Nolan's like, uh, the, we need an actual fallout here. We, we need yeah. radi- radiation. I made a movie earlier this uh, this year. It was released called Oppenheimer. Right? It actually blew up. Something. Yeah, we blew up a bomb. <laughs> yeah, no big deal or anything. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think little I, bro. I, th- I think gives I, him a noogie. <laughs> yeah. I think I think I think uh, just from what I saw the trailer alone is the costumes are very accurate to the video games, which are gonna appease to the naysayers who already are belly aching. All about the, all those fucking nerds out there. Yeah, I think I think <laughs> we're I, looking at you. <laughs> well, so like I think the hump that they have to go over though is that because Fallout is an RPG game. And there's not re- like you are basically your own main, voice. Yeah, but there's a main storyline to it. But, well, there's a main storyline, but like you're making somewhat kind of like the it's dialogue a lot of side decisions quests, and though. stuff yeah. like that. So they're gonna have to really wrangle in. It's a interesting cohesive because cohesive sort of plot. Making a, a a show or or a movie. This in this case, it's a show out of a property like that. Or even like Dungeons and Dragons. It's yeah. like it's so open to like what right. the story that you could. 
put into it. Sure. But you already have the foundation of like the world. Yeah. You, know, you have the, the characters sure. and the and the types of creatures and uh, the costumes and stuff like that. And then you just you have all of those elements and then you can just sort of put it together however you want. The power suits were in there. Do you see the people walking yeah. in the power suits? The power that, suits. That looks great. Yeah. They like, had looked the, like they had dog meat. They had the helicopter things. Oh, the Ospreys. Yeah. I don't know if that's what they're called in the game, but that's what in real life that's what they're called. Did they give a release date? Uh, yeah, what's when's this supposed to come out next April. In April? Next yeah. April. Okay, so like okay. they're probably they're probably in like post production at months. this point. Well if we're if if we are seeing the trailer, it's definitely in post production <laughs> or past post production. Come on, I'm just trying to get words out. Oh, uh, we're trying to get words out. <laughs> what is this, an essay? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta hit your max at fifteen hundred words minimum. That's yeah. right. Or else he, YouTube will not monetize. He views us. he looks at uh words like people view their steps. Gotta yeah. get his words in. <laughs> yeah. ultimately though, it's I, funny because it's true yeah <laughs> ultimately i thought that was a fantastic looking trailer and i can't yeah. i can't wait yeah. yeah i'm excited for it i am actually too. i am too like, it, i was like at the, when i woke up this morning i was like i don't care and then yeah <laughs> but now after seeing that i'm like okay i'm kind of interested i kind of felt that way when they first announced it I'm like well this is a big gamble I think that when The Last of Us did so well, they set the pace, they yeah. set the tone for video game uh, adaptations. Yeah. But, but Fallout was well into production before uh, you know The Last of Us was released. It's not like they decided to step their game up at, at, as soon as The Last of Us came out. Yeah. I just feel like we are we're in an age now where we are spoiled by so much great uh, I know. product. I know. You know. I was gonna say it, content. Content overload. Product is almost as bad as content. But <laughs> well, so then that actually kind of gives me even more hope that this is going to be good because it feels like they took a lot of care into it. I mean, just based off of the Clearly. costume design alone, it's like Jesus Christ. Well, well, some of those shots they had like the backlit shot of her coming out of the vault and it's mm-hmm. like sun bleached from behind. Yeah, it looks like J.J. Abrams uh, had a help. <laughs> I was holding the camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one's best buddy. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, uh, that's it we got for the day. So uh, uh, we will see you next time. Yeah, see you next time. See ya. Class dismissed. I gotta get out of here. The bell doesn't dismiss you. I dismiss you. You are free to go. See you next week. See you later. See you later. That's a wrap. Great show.